Hello everyone, my name is e Dogs, and welcome back to this review channel. Today we're going to finish up the Transformers World of Cybertron Trilogy Worlds Collide Nemesis Primal. Nemesis Primal is a Predacon from the Requiem continuity family. Just like how Scourge is an evil clone of Optimus Prime, Nemesis Primal is an evil clone of Optimus Primal and getting his name from the Decepticons. He has Primal's personality powers, but switched to be more evil. The Scourge that they're referring to is from Robots in Disguise, but that is for a uh, whole different video. So here we have the figure. And we are going to take a look at the swords first. You get two of these in the package. Very nicely painted. The hilt is a uh, gray plastic while the sword is, itself is painted red. Very nice. You have these little grooves here in the sword here on that side and here on that side. It pegs into his hand very nicely. The overall color kind of reminds me of a collector's club type of thing, which I'm going to get back to in a second. But it's mostly black. We have this purple, this really nice purple on the side of the chest. We have this little red, maybe uh, maybe red, maybe lavender kind of thing inside of the chest, broken up by this really nice silver. We have the Kanyan blue here in the circle, down here on the legs. I should say, yeah, you're on the legs right here. The feet are painted silver and these uh, hydraulics are painted silver as well. On the side, we get a little bit more detail on the back of the arms. That kind of reminds me of uh, Transmetal. That's the word I was looking for. It's that Transmetal Kion type of color right there. And the back is just mostly black. Uh, no, no highlights in there like the prior figures in this set. And this side... Same deal. You have the silver with this cayenne blue, which is followed up by the cayenne blue for the blasters. His face has a silver mask where Primal doesn't have the mask all the time kind of a deal. And you have the head crest, this normal head crest, and you got the red eyes. So there you go for that. Now, the last time we saw a glimpse of this character was in Transformers... Uh, Beast Wars episode 10 called Guerrilla Warfare. In that episode, he gets hit by the bug, he gets turned evil, and they send him on a rampage to get back at the, uh, the Predacons. So here we have Primal in his normal state, and you can kind of see the differences. They went with the uh, a normal white, maybe off-white, no, yeah, off-white uh, for his face. He has different horns for his ears. They're not painted on this one, on his helmet. It's just straight up black where the helmet is painted blue on his side. Uh, the blasters, I don't have those out. They're tucked in. Let me just get that out real quick. Alright, so you get in here. And you have to get these blasters out from the side. And they're the same color as the helmet for his head. We still get the red eyes. I do believe these are a little darker than those. Yeah, it's a little bit darker and you know, there's more there's more there because of the the mask. Uh the only thing that's picked out from each other is the silver hips. Uh, this is silver, they went with the gray. Um, this is broken up by a lighter silver for these little holes there 
and they made them purple on this side. The legs are different, as you can obviously see. Silver broken up uh, by cayenne blue. We just have the straight up blue uh, broken up by the red. The pistons on his feet are painted red. And that's about it. Except for the bicep, we have red biceps broken up by the white. And same thing on this side, just the opposite. The feet are different. You can see on the bottom, he has purple feet and he has green feet. Other than that, the same deal, right? So we are gonna get into the transformation. And the first thing you want to do, you want to take these out. And you could pick them in on the side if you need to, if you want to. No matter what mode is in, you can still do it. Another thing that's missing is his mace or flail, but that's okay. He is a new character introduced into the series. Um, he hasn't been in the comic books yet, so yeah, he might get it later on, something like that. So you can have it stored like that. It looks good like that. And that's without that. So we just gonna take this off. Now transformation is pretty simple. Uh, what you like to do is you want to break these um, uh, these uh, little shoulder things away so you can unlock the top portion of it. You take the backpack, undo it, bring it up, turn it around. And you want to bring this backpack backwards. Like so. Take the monkey head, bring it out, and you want to turn it around, sort of a deal, like this. Push down, bring this down, like so. You want to turn this around, like that. But before we close up the chest, you need to flip this around, like so. Bring this forward. And you have the options. You can you can leave the guns up or you can leave them down, but I'm gonna leave them down. Like so. You can bring the head down like set. And we're pretty much there, honestly. You take these pa uh, the uh, these pads, just bring them over the arm. Take this, bring that down. Bring this forward, bring this arm forward. Like so, bring the fist sideways like this, uh, next is you want to take these piston feet and you want to bring them up, like so, and this is the weird part, you need to push the back uh, of, his, of his leg back this way and you need to push it down so it, it will collapse on itself like this kind of a deal same thing for this side bring the leg back push like so turn the waist around like that and you want to take this piece and you bring it down like this Now, what you need to do next is bring this up just a little bit. You want to bring this up. Just bring this up. And that should go over it like that. And you just maneuver these legs how you see fit. Right? So like that. You take your weapons, you want to put them on his back. And 
and you want to figure out how you want to sit him on your table. Let's bring this in, give you a closer look at how that looks. Bring the head up a little bit so you can see what's going on. And there you have your Nemesis Primal in his animal mode, simian, gorilla, looks really nice. Now you look dead on, you wouldn't be able to see you know, the gap there, but that's fine. You can still look to the left, you can look to the right. Just, mm, that's about as far as up you can get, and that's as far down as you can get. Arms. Sometimes these will pop off when you're messing around. Arms still have the same range. They can go all the way around. You may have to pull them out a little bit just to get them all around, but you can still do it. The bicep is still functional. The uh, hands are 360 degrees. Uh, arm is locked in by this piece, but if you need to do use it, you just bring up that panel and try to bring it up to where you need it. Legs, they're very limited because they need to be in a certain spot. So there's about, I mean, you could do this if you want to and get away with it, it's fine. Let's bring in a couple of comparisons. Well, I only have the one right now. Bring this panel down. So, we're going to bring it in. Fangry. Kind of give you a slight comparison there. That's what it looks like from the side. That's what it looks like from the back. Now these things are supposed to, they're supposed to plug in, these uh, Kion looking things. They're supposed to plug into the chest. I mean, this, this little back panel. Here it is from this side. And here it is from the front again. Now we're going to transform it back into robot mode and that's going to conclude the video. So pretty much you just get rid of these because they're going to get in the way. Take this panel, bring it up. You can swing this around just to have it ready. Take the legs, bring them down. And they're supposed to plug in but they really don't but it's fine. Bring them down like that. You take these feet, bring them up. Take this panel right here. And you want to turn his whole torso around like that. Bring his arm down. Bring your arm down. Turn his fist so it's facing this way. Turn his fist on that side. Do the same. Even the fingers are painted purple like the chest. You get in here and you bring these up. You gotta be careful. Take these uh, these two pieces again, bring it back. Matter of fact, you can take this piece and you can bring it forward. It taps into this rectangle thing right here. And then you can bring this all the way back. Put down the monkey head. Matter of fact, turn it around. And then you put it down. Turn it. Push it in. Before you do anything, this gets flipped on this side. Bring this tab up. Peg it. Peg it. 
and the articulation for the robot mode is a little better. Uh, QC issues, uh, bicep may be a little bit too too loose, but that's fine. That's fine. So you can, can go all the way up on your arm. I already showed the swivel here. There is a bend at the elbow, more than 90 degrees, as you can see there. 360 degrees on the hands. Rotates all the way around without no problems. There's 360 degrees on the waist. The leg comes all the way out there and you can bring it down here. But you can always push it way more back like that if you need to. Legs can go all the way back to the stops right about there, but you can bring this leg all the way back if you need to. Uh, thigh swivel is at the ball joint there, not too much. You can't do as much of a kick, you can get about that high with the kick. Um, there is a swivel down here for some reason, but it doesn't allow me to turn it. And both the head for the animal mode and the primes mode is on a ball joint. So you can kind of see it right there. You can kind of see right underneath there. It is on the ball joint that allows you to look up. A little bit down, left, and right. The animal mode has more of a down because it has that space underneath the, the chin and the neck. Gonna bring in his swords and put them in his swords in his hands. And there you go. Now we're going to bring in the rest of the crew from this set. And that is going to be it. Let me see if I can get a more dy dynamic pose. So we're gonna bring in, let's bring in Fengri. Let's bring in Bumblebee. And last but not least, black rat, you know. So you have all four. This is how they look. I'm keeping fingery in this mode instead of the other mode. So this is what you get in the package. You can see down here, they got their, they got their pictures on top of the um, on top of the box with the honeycomb design which is very nice and that's pretty much it now my final thoughts on this is that these two i believe are more of a collector's club type of figures because of the the, the color design the color uh, palettes because purple is always one of those colors that they always put it on well, not always, no, you know, but they always sometimes uh, put those on their collector club figures 
is one of their popular colors. And, and cayenne is another color that they put on. So I kind of feel like those are like a, a, a collector's club type of piece. These two are just uh, remodes and repaints of another another figure. I don't have a problem with this one. Um, as you can see, this is sticking together much nicer. I don't have any plans with it, except for if I were to move this panel. If I move this panel, this whole thing comes off. Like it just, just falls apart. But there's no problem with it. It's no big problem. Um, Bumblebee. There's a preference if you want the Volkswagen version. I do believe it sits higher in vehicle mode towards um, Blue Streak and another. And I would say it's a little taller than Jazz in his alt mode. So it's a toss up, you know, which one you want more. You want the G1 version? Get the next Flix version. If you want the movie version, get this one. So. Let's bring in his primal. We'll put primal in the back. We'll get to him someday. So, there you go. I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe. We still have more stuff to do. Even though the series is over. Um, wave 11 for studio series and other figures that's underneath their list is coming out in April of 2022 I believe so we have some free time we're going to have some new stuff coming in uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, about when I'm going to get these products uh, in uh, other than that if you want to stick around and watch um uh, Earthrise series or the Kingdom series, I will be doing those because I have put those on the back burner so I can try to keep up with everybody else doing reviews. So thank you very much for watching. And as Cheeto once said, it's time to fade heroes. So I'm going to see you in the next video. And thank you again for watching.